Hello, welcome. In this video, let us look at influenza virus. Okay, this is a very, very important topic for the exam. <clears throat> this uh, influenza ep uh, virus epidemiology is something like in 2010, right? 2009, 10, 2009 and 10, there was a pandemic of H1N1. Okay, so uh, it is estimated that annually about 3 to 5 million cases of severe illness okay and uh, there are lakhs of deaths due to influenza epidemics worldwide so there are a lot of deaths lakhs of deaths every year 2.5 to 5 lakh deaths annually <clears throat> okay so this uh, outbreak usually occurs in winter Okay, and um, in 2014, there was uh, H3N2 in Pondicherry. In 2014, there was H3N2 in Pondicherry, right? So, basically, you should know that uh, this epidemiological pattern depends on the nature of the antigenic variation that occurs in influenza types. All this is because of what? Anti genic variation that is why antigenic variation is a very important question for you for exam also fine so you should remember h1 n1 in 2010 h3 n2 in 2014 and uh, earlier there used to be h2 n8 etc like in 1889 at all they have written h2 n8 okay okay <coughs> So, what will you learn now? So, you must have heard these words like uh, swine flu, avian flu or bird flu, right? All these are influenza virus, caused by influenza virus, okay? So, the birds are actually the primary reservoirs for influenza virus, okay? Let us look at the clinical features, what a person may come in with so that you will be able to diagnose. So, let us look at the incubation period of this influenza virus. It's just hours, okay, 18 to 72 hours it is, okay. Basically, it uh, depends on the size of the inoculum and also the immune status of the host. So, you can just remember a few hours for influenza, okay. And uh, uh, here there are two uh, types, uh, uncomplicated influenza and complications. In uncomplicated influenza, they also call it as flu syndrome, okay, flu syndrome. Here what happens, they are either asymptomatic, okay, or they will have minor upper respiratory symptoms like chills, headache, dry cough, okay. Then they will start to be high fever, myalgia, anorexia. This is usually a self-limiting condition like all viral uh, problems, it is self-limiting. And uh, you cannot distinguish it from other infections, right? Other upper respiratory tract pathogens. It is uh, indistinguishable, okay? So, it is uncomplicated influenza. It will just be like a common cold, okay? It can be asymptomatic or like common cold. You cannot actually distinguish it so easily. So, this is flu syndrome. Now comes the complications. Now, complications, you have pneumonia, respiratory uh, pulmonary complications and Ray syndrome. Ray syndrome is what? Encephalopathy, correct? Encephalopathy. So, you have, uh, let us look at the complications now. In complications, let us look at pneumonia. So, secondary bacterial pneumonia is the most common complications to occur. So, basically imagine this is not because of the virus, it is because of the secondary bacterial infection, okay, because um, if they are infected with influenza virus, there can be a secondary bacterial infection. So, what are the agents that cause this pneumonia, like staphylococci, pneumococci, haemophilus influenza, all of these, okay, by secondary bacterial infection. And what are the bacteria going to be? They are going to be Staphylococcus or uh, Staphylococci, Pneumococci and Haemophilus influenzae. Remember, Haemophilus influenzae is a bacteria. 
हीमोफिलिस इन्फ्लुएंजे इज अ बैक्टीरिया इन्फ्लुएंजा इज इन्फ्लुएंजा वायरस वॉट कॉजेस इन्फ्लुएंजा इन्फ्लुएंजा वायरस कॉजेस इन्फ्लुएंजा रिमेंबर हीमोफिलिस इन्फ्लुएंजे डज नॉट कॉज इन्फ्लुएंजा हीमोफिलिस इन्फ्लुएंजे एक्चुअली कॉजेस मेनेंजाइटिस एक्सेट्रा ओके सो इन्फ्लुएंजा इज कॉज बाय influenza virus and not hemophilus influenza how many people understood this part of it influenza is caused by influenza virus hemophilus influenza is a bacteria that causes meningitis it was incorrectly named as influenza the hemophilus influenza was incorrectly named as influenza okay so the secondary bacteria which cause pneumonia are staphylococci pneumo cocci and humophilus influenza so we are done with the complication that is pneumonia let's move on to the next complication uh, other pulmonary complications what and all can be there obstructive chronic obstructive pulmonary disease exacerbation exacerbation of uh, chronic bronchitis and asthma okay so what are the other pulmonary complications like copd exacerbation of asthma chronic bronchitis and asthma is it clear so we are done with the next complication of influenza virus now let us move on to the third complication ray syndrome this is nothing but encephalopathy okay touch your brain uh, touch your head and say ray syndrome caused due to influenza virus it can also be caused because of aspirin if you remember from pharmacology so here there is fatty degeneration of liver okay with acute encephalopathy this occurs in children and adolescents so 2 to 16 years of age so remember this so it occurs in children and adolescents okay so this is usually fatal okay mortality rate is very high 10 to 40% can be fatal okay 10 to 40 percent okay so we are done with ray syndrome now that was the third complication of the influenza infection so high risk groups if you have to write there will be children adolescents pregnant people who have already you know uh, lung conditions uh, cns conditions liver conditions whoever have low Im immunity like hiv people okay so all these people are going to be high risk groups this should not be difficult for you to write right high risk groups so we looked at the clinical features of uh, influenza correct it's like flu like flu like syndrome right so what treatment will you give for influenza virus so guys we are done with uh, the clinical features we looked at what and all epidemiology we looked at of influenza we looked at the clinical features now we are looking at the treatment of influenza now influenza you can treat with neuraminidase inhibitors like um, oseltamivir oseltamivir and zanamivir and uh, you have a matrix protein m2 inhibitor m2 inhibitor you should know m2 inhibitor like amantadine and rimantadine okay amantadine and rimantadine but nowadays these have become like uh, influenza virus they are becoming resistant to these drugs so just remember oseltamivir and zanamivir okay so you should give uh, twice a day for 5 days treatment for treatment for influenza virus influenza virus oseltamivir zanamivir zanamivir say properly oselta oselta mivir mivir zana zana mivir mivir thank you what we have seen so far <clears throat> we started off with influenza virus we have uh, looked at uh, why we need to study influenza virus mainly because it is important for exam apart from that there are a lot of pandemics pandemic word is important a lot of pandemics and because of antigenic variation it has lot of uh, different types of outbreak like uh, h2n8 before now there is uh, h1n1 was there in 2010 right then in 2014 there was h3n2 so it is kind of uh, because of antigenic variations there are a lot of <coughs> pandemics okay and epidemics 
So the, it also affects the pigs and the birds. So there is swine flu and uh, bird flu from which they can spread to human beings. So that's why they order culling of uh, infected or uh, suspected to be infected with uh, influenza virus. They, those animals are actually culled. So remember about the deaths, right? Lakhs of people are dying because of influenza virus. Fine. Coming to clinical features, uh, we saw that it can be uncomplicated like flu syndrome. So basically it will just be like a flu. Uh, it will be asymptomatic at times and then at times it will be like flu syndrome, just like a common cold as per respiratory, upper respiratory tract uh, problems, okay. So what are the complications that can occur? Complications that can occur are because of viral infection, there can be a secondary bacterial infection leading to pneumonia. The bacteria which usually uh, come here are staphylococci, pneumococci and haemophilus influenzae. So this is probably the only place where you can say influenza virus is linked to haemophilus influenza bacteria. Other pulmonary complications are like COPD, exacerbation of chronic bronchitis and asthma. Ray syndrome can occur. There will be fatty degeneration of the liver and touch your head and say encephalopathy in Ray syndrome is because of uh, this uh, influenza virus. Even aspirin causes uh, this uh, Ray syndrome, remember? Again, they always say the cause of Ray syndrome is unknown and uh, it actually affects children and adolescents uh, 2 to 16 years. It can be fatal in 10 to 40 percent cases. So, Ray syndrome, you can make it in red. Now, high risk groups, we already told you, children, pregnant people, immunocompromised people, etc. Not much concerned on that. Now, treatment. Treatment will be, this oseltamivir, this is very important, you should know this, oseltamivir. Look at these tablets, oseltamivir phosphate capsules, it's coming in the brand name Tamiflu, correct? So, this Tamiflu also, if you write, you will get marks. So, remember, oseltamivir, very, very important that you should know for the exam. Tamivir, Tamiflu, sorry, Ocel Tamivir for influenza. Remember, Ocel Tamivir. We want to look at the actual virus, the morphology of the virus. We want to look at the differences between orthomyxoviruses and paramyxoviruses. Actually, influenza virus comes in orthomyxovirus. <coughs> then we want to look at the morphology, detailed morphology of influenza virus. Then we want to look at the antigenic subtypes and the nomenclature. So we are interested very much in the antigens and the variations of antigens because it is affecting the um, vaccine and how we are going to treat and the epidemiology. You can see every time it's different. Okay. In 2010, it was H1N1 and in 2014, it is something else. Correct. So antigenic variation, very important. We will come to that in the next video. Pathogenesis of influenza virus. Then we will look at the lab diagnosis of influenza virus. So far, uh, whatever you have learned, uh, hope you have uh, liked it and understood. We will meet in the next video to continue on influenza virus. Say bye. Bye-bye.